Welcome to the Battleground Commanders. This is Sith Jaeger. And the first time I tried to protect the flag, I had no idea what I was doing. So I thought I'd make a video to help all of you guys out. All right, let's take a look at the instructions the game gives you concerning this mode of battle. As you can see here, not much to it. A lot more you need to know. Taking a look at the map, you're gonna need to know where your flag is and where their flag is. You're also gonna need to know where your respawn points are gonna be. And once you actually obtain your flag, you'll see a new icon on your map, and that's going to be your goal. Now, the uh, circle at the bottom on the right with the shield in it is their goal. And that's the uh, location you need to defend if you so choose to. We're going to do a couple of matches here and show you what else you need to know. This is going to be a very quick match on Stalingrad. Now, at the top, you can see the location of the flags. Uh, in relation to their destination, they are currently uh, at their bases. If you look at your map on the right, you can see uh, the flag blinking. This lets you know where you need to go on the map. We now have the flag. And the two icons that are blinking just off to our left uh, indicate where Red's flag is and where our goal is. Now, there's a couple of ways you can play this game if you have two players that are playing together as a team. Uh, one can either rush and kill Red's flag carrier, uh, or they can escort you to your destination. Now here you can see up at the top, there is a blue icon with a shield that is blinking. I had no idea what that icon was. Uh, so I just started moving towards it, not realizing that this was their end goal. I figured I had brought the blue flag to where the red flag was and we won, but that's not the case. Now that I'm actually heading towards our goal, you can see there on our display, there is a circle with a blue arrow in it, letting us know where we need to go. And you can also see the red flag, which just disappeared, uh, meaning that their flag carrier was destroyed. We are halfway to our goal now. And as you can uh, look, I'm sorry, as you can see by looking at the bars at the top, uh, the flag for red is back at their base. Now, I would suggest that uh, if you're playing this game and you really want to increase your chances of winning, you carry a repair kit or two with you. In the event that you have your tracks destroyed like I did, you can repair them quickly and move on to your goal. And that's it. We do pick up the MVP here, even though we didn't fire one round at anybody. Very quick match. Take a look at the total boards here. Not really sure what these uh, individual scoreboards are for. Uh, are for. Let me know in the comments below if you know what, what they actually mean. And the second map is going to be Normandy. Again, we're playing Protect the Flag. Now, in this match, I'm going to target the flag carrier. Um, many times when you target the flag carrier, if you don't have uh, a red team that uh, is very observant or uh, aware of what's going on, uh, that first kill of their flag carrier could result in a win for, for your team uh, because they don't actually realize that their flag is back at their base. That's where they need to go. Take a quick screenshot just in case I want to use it for a thumbnail later. Looking up at the top bars, I can see that they do have a medium tank that is carrying their flag towards their goal. Now, despite all the obstacles in the way, anytime that you are facing the flag carrier, you will see the flag carrier's tank highlighted in, I guess, violet or purple uh, with the flag symbol above them. And it lets you know where you need to go. Take a couple of side shots here. Now, as you can see, we had a bunch of reds off to our right. They were paying attention to me. They would uh, realize that I'm trying to target their flag carrier and attack. You're going to do most damage to the rear of a tank. We're trying to come in behind the tank, get a couple of shots off, pull back, take a quick look at the bars at the top, try to figure out how close we are to getting to our goal. And there on the display, you can see both flag carriers, reds and ours. Our flag carrier seems to have 
a lot of health right now, so we're going to continue to attack uh, the Red's flag carrier. And once we destroy their flag, we can either escort Blue to our goal or go back to um, our base to retrieve the flag should their tank be destroyed. Just destroyed their tank. As you can see, the flag returns to the base. And I started heading towards my teammate to help him out, but uh, he was fiercely attacked and is very low on health, and the flag isn't back at our base. So now we're going to head towards our base. They are currently leading. If you see that at the top, uh, that means if the game were to end right now uh, and neither of us advance closer towards the goal, uh, Red would win because they got closer towards their, their goal than we did towards ours. Again, we pick up the flag. And we can see the blue icon blinking, indicating what direction we need to head to. Obviously, I don't want to head to where all those reds are, so I'm going to turn west. I have a TD coming up behind me. Take a look at my repair kits. I do have some repair kits, so if we get shot and stopped, we can be on our way. Fortunately, the one hit does not destroy our tracks. A quick look up at the top. And I realized that their tank is moving again towards their goal, but uh, has little hope of catching up as our goal is in sight. And the more teammates you have, uh, the better you can play. Probably something you want to discuss in the chat room before you actually enter the game. Who wants to defend the base? Uh, who wants to attack the flag carrier? Who wants to uh, retrieve the flag? Because once you move into that circle, that's it. Game over. No countdown. Move on to your next match. Pick up the MVP. And we take a look at the leaderboards. Victory. And the scores. Again, not really sure what the individual scores are for. But these are the team scores. But I hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're looking for a Legion to join, feel free to join mine. Looking for casual players, or you can just friend me, and we can uh, play a couple of matches. Until next time, Seth Yeager out.